Good morning, folks. This is Stereo A. Earth is off to the left of my cursor. This shows what is just turned away from the Earth, and it's a very good thing this turned away before unleashing this massive eruption. This might have been an X-flare if it was pointed at us. Now here is the legend for the Earth-Sun connection, known as the Earth footprint. You may have noticed sometimes that the little Earth appears faded. Well, that's a backside footprint or connection on the back of the Sun. And if the Earth is off to the left, looking in here, that puts this eruption just behind this limb, and the faded Earth suggests that the Earth footprint is back there too. Now obviously the Earth doesn't have a foot, but it's like the term carbon footprint. It's the effective area. And these black and white lines here connecting everything to the sun are those connections, the magnetic portals. Everything in the solar system's got one. And since our footprint, our magnetic portal, was close to that eruption, up go the protons. Keep an eye on this. If it hits the dotted line, that's an official radiation storm. Someone sabotaged a pipeline in Colombia, and over 100,000 people are now in danger of having no clean water. At Pigeon Lake in Alberta, Canada, thousands of fish are dead and washed ashore. Reports say it's staggering. Nicaragua saw moderate quakes yesterday. The Gulf of Aden had a 4.8 just on the Somalia side. Central Turkey was shaking as well. The Alaskan Islands are very active this morning, and we just had a polar quake way up north. We went eight days without a gamma ray burst, but one hit yesterday came from the directional line of constellation serpents. You can see the yellow and orange here. That's the solar wind speed and density, respectively. The flat line on the yellow will help us determine if we get hit with a tiny coronal hole today. Now, we may not see much on the density, but if we get hit, the speed will either spike or rise significantly over a few hours. That dark spot on the bottom is the coronal hole that we're waiting for today. It was facing Earth three days ago, putting out that stream. The one up north is very well developed, but I do not know if it's too far north to be geo-effective. Of course, that massive trans-equatorial coronal hole is turning towards us on the left, bright active regions behind her. Looking at them, we see large umbra, both red and blue, indicate bipolar magnetics, but I do not see much danger. There's more of them coming behind the limb. We'll see them tomorrow. Sky watchers, sunset this evening brings us our duo dancing in the sky as they have for weeks. But the moon is creeping up to join Mars and Saturn for a few nights. Should be beautiful. And you won't be able to see it, but Mercury is set to conjoin the sun in about five days. Earthquake watch peaks then as the coronal hole will be facing us as well. Quake watch explanation link is right below this video box. That's the news, everyone. Be safe.